Hello everybody, Richard Tromans here again from Artificial Wire TV. Uh, today we're going to be doing another uh, product walkthrough. Uh, this time it's Axdraft. Um, Axdraft is an all-in-one CLM system uh, which handles a wide variety of things including uh, document creation and negotiation and to tell us a bit more is Terry Lessig who's in the States. Hi Terry. Hi Richard. Um, so as Richard mentioned, Axdraft helps primarily in-house legal teams draft, negotiate, and na navigate contracts 10 times faster. And I'll jump into our product demo. As I'm logging into Axdraft, uh, you can see that Axdraft is fully online. It can be accessed from any device, and I'll log in here. And on this demo, we'll focus on three primary aspects of Axdraft. That's document creation, document drafting, document approval with collaboration and negotiation, and finally, our storage feature with metadata tags and the ability to generate reports based on those metadata tags. So I've logged in, this is our demo dashboard for Axdraft and I'll select our NDA. And as you see, uh, with that selected, the system starts asking me questions. Uh, and a lot of times what separates Axdraft from a lot of the competition is that we take your documents and offer a turnkey solution of automating and implementing the software. So we would take uh, the 20 versions of an NDA that you have uh, and compile it into one easy and simple to use question and answer workflow uh, where our legal engineers would create the setup and automate and create all these questions that you see here. So by simply answering questions, you can see the document changing in different places. This is very easy for the user and uh, it's easy to start using on day one. And these documents can be as complex as required or as simple as needed. And we can also provide hints for those non-legal users or just provide hints for certain answers that meet specific business situations. So I'll run through this real quick. Uh, and as you can see, the document is changing in multiple places. So the user has full control and visibility of the changes made to the document based on the answers that they select. And again, uh, the info box is here. Uh, once the document has been, once we've answered all the required questions, uh, we come to the data fill-in stage. What's important here is that Axdraft can connect to internal registers, uh, but we also connect to the registers of all 50 states and 42 countries. So by simply entering a unique identifying code, uh, the document is pre-populated with uh, specific information related to that code. Here I'll type in some additional information, select a date, I'll save this as a project for later, and by clicking magic I have an NDA that's ready to go, that's fully compliant um, in a matter of minutes. And let me pull up that NDA. This NDA would have been uh, pre-approved by legal, all clauses would be compliant with the company. This can be either uh, Microsoft Word edit protected or freely to edit. We can also include a unique identifying code. Um, and this can also be a PDF. Now I'll go back to Axdraft. Um, so with uh, the NDA being drafted, um, I can also, I have a project that's been created. With that project having an ad additional documents that are uh, available for me. And what's unique about Axdraft is that we save the previous responses from the NDA and uh, we skip the answers that have been previously answered by the NDA. So it allows the business user to more quickly uh, draft uh, the sets of documents that they need. And as you see, as I previously entered in uh, the specific information for the NDA, it's already pre-populated in my master services agreement. So simply I'll pull, put in the date and also the expiration date. And what I wanna show here is not of the user drafting this document, but let's say, as this is an MSA, it's a little bit more complex. Uh, there will need to be approval or collaboration or negotiation required with the document. With Axdraft, that's simple by enab en enabling our collaboration. And once I click the magic button, the document no longer downloads onto my computer, but goes into the project folder where now I can click on it and have uh, collaboration and negotiation window where now you can see that there's one approval required and with Axdraft we can require approvals at the document level or at the clause level for those liability provisions, payment terms, or anything else a company deems requires approval. So from here I can redline this document, I can comment 
on this document or I can, I can work together as a team, um, as an internal team on this document. I can also invite, uh, what's unique about Axdraft, I can invite users, as I mentioned, company users, but more importantly, counterparty users to negotiate and work on this document with me. Uh, but what's unique here is that that counterparty, they will not be able to see all the internal red lines or the internal collaboration that's happened until the document is released by the admin of this document. And we track all changes um, and you can simply approve or discard certain clauses. Uh, we also have a, let me see, a negotiation playbook. So let's say either the legal department wants to standardize negotiations or they want to allow business units to uh, have certain fallback clauses at their fingertips. They can simply click on a clause and substitute that into uh, the document. And again, this is all tracked and there is a full version history of this document. So I'll approve, I'll approve these changes as I'm the admin approve and go into history and I can easily see what's been changed in this document, who's changed it and who's approved certain changes. So that's our approval, collaboration and negotiation window. And what's great is that it's done all in system, but let's say a lot of uh, legal departments, they wanna take this offline and use Microsoft Word. We have a download feature where they can download the document and it'll preserve all red lines and comments in the documents to work offline and then re-upload this version into Axtraft. Finally, uh, we have our storage feature, uh, which is our final feature of Axtraft where documents are stored. And what's important here is that we preserve metadata tags for these documents. We have full in-text search or by tag search. We can also upload legacy documents and uh, metadata tag them or add any additional tags that we need. So simply uh, doing an in-text search of Delaware. Uh, I see that I have 19 documents that have Delaware in them. I can also do the same search by metadata tag to see payment terms or liability provisions. Finally, uh, we have the ability to quickly and easily generate reports. Um, so I'll do agreement date and also uh, governing law. I'll run that report. And I can see that in the past 30 days, I have 40, 46 documents that were created and the times that these documents were created and also a governing law report of uh, the governing law of these documents. Finally, we have some just admin capabilities of our dashboard. We can see documents that were recently drafted, a to-do list with documents expiring soon. Uh, documents that are requiring attention. For instance, if I'm an approver or an admin, I can see that one or three changes need my approval and recent documents. And also, finally, uh, we have dashboards. So let's say in the last 30 days, you can see what your team's doing, what different departments at the company are doing, how many documents have been created, average creation time, top templates generated, and really importantly, approval statistics to understand where certain bottlenecks are in approvals or if there's a bottleneck in a department.